Okay, so my name is Nicholas Preston Zerps. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm currently a sophomore at Clemson, and I'm here to spend um, the next five minutes just talking about my experience as a peer dialogue facilitator, what it's meant to me, what I feel like it's meant to others, um, and why maybe you might be interested in being a peer dialogue facilitator. Um, so I'm going to start out really, really general about kind of like the program as a whole, and I'm just going to give like just one of the many, many instances um, where it's really changed my life. So. Um, what the Peer Dialogue facilitator, facilitator Program is, or how at least I would explain it, um, is just a program to equip students to be able to teach and handle situations dealing with social with social justice. Sorry. Now, what social justice is is pretty much pr promoting the equality of all people, regardless of um, age, gender, um, socioeconomic status, um, sexual orientation. Anything like that. So, you know, you've heard those terms before, maybe. Um, so those are pretty much what we deal with, what we focus on, what we learn all about, everything like that. So it's great. It's wonderful. You learn a lot. Um, and so that's really what the program is um, starting out. Your first semester that you're in the program, you're just learning a lot of this stuff. Um, you're learning all these terms. You're learning how you feel. You're learning what affected how you feel and so maybe why you feel that way. And so it's really just like a big enlightening process where you know you, you learn things about yourself that you never even thought of before and you're experiencing topics that you've heard about maybe in the news or maybe with that one girl, that one guy, but now it's getting real and it's getting personal. And so that there's a lot of growth in that. So I'm gonna talk about like a specific instance and, and something that I've learned. Um, before being in the peer dialogue facilitator program, I never really understood what privilege meant on a on a personal level. So what privilege is um, is pretty much the best way I can sum it up because this makes it personal for me and it's how I learned it was because I am a white male um, who is heterosexual. Um, I don't have to have as many worries as someone who is not a white heterosexual male. Um, so this idea of privilege is all about um, where ha having comfort and having power in certain scenarios. Um, and so me living my life, and I don't really think it's my fault because no one really brought it to my attention, but it's definitely something I learned in my PDF experience is that I'm very privileged um, because of who I am. Um, and so there are a lot of people who don't have the same power or even really the same rights that I do in a lot of situations because there are a lot more people like me and the people who are like me have most of the power if, if you can follow or understand that. Um, so what that means for me personally is whenever I go into, into a situation, um, I can be aware of that now. And so with this newfound knowledge that I gained last semester, I really felt kind of guilty because, wow, like I have all these privileges and all these people wish they had all this privilege, it sounds like, with the way they talk. Um, you know, at first I felt bad, but then that re thought really changed because, you know what, I realized it's not my fault I'm born this way. Um, just like it's not anyone else's fault if they're born of a different color or a different sexual orientation um, or a different gender. So it's not really something to feel bad about, but I think the awareness of it um, really, really helps. Um, and so that way I know... Am I doing anything right now that is exuding power and that is not um, letting everyone else of different colors or different, you know, of a different gender? Um, am I inclu being all inclusive? Is is a better term, a better way to put it, um, with my words and with my actions, because I do carry power with being who I am, and so I just want to yield that wisely. So that's just one of the many, many things I've learned in my PDF experience. So, cool question for for someone watching is. You know, hey, should I get involved in this? Um, and I would say yes, at least for our first semester, um, just so you can learn what these terms are. I feel like I'm a more equipped human now because I know what these mean. Um, and so you can do whatever you want with that knowledge. Um, a lot of people use it for good. Some people use it for bad. Um, where I'm at right now is I'm using it to just kind of understand people more. My passion is um, caring for, for people in one-on-one -on -one conversations. And so I'm able to use what I understand because of my peer dialogue facilitator um, to understand power dynamics within conversation, but also understand dialogue better and how to create an open space for everyone to feel comfortable to talk and to feel vulnerable and to share things that they might not want to, but they need to share. Um, and so those are other takeaways that I've gotten from the program. 
Um, if you're looking for a place to learn and have your life transformed, it might be great for you too. Um, but I'm enjoying it so far, I'm learning a lot, and learning how to love people better. So I'm Nick Zerbst, and that's my Peer Dialogue Facilitator story.